In this video, we are looking at what is called turtle graphics in Python, which is covered in section 2.10 in the book. So you should read that. Let me first uh, give you a glimpse of uh, the kinds of uh, programs you can write using turtle graphics. So here is uh, an example of a program that you can create, um, or rather the output of a program. So this has a box here, uh, and in that I have uh, drawn seven circles filled with the colors of the rainbow, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. We will see how to draw this in class. I will show you how to take up this problem and then complete it. At this point in time, at least in this video, I want to show you the kinds of Python statements that you can use in drawing pictures like this. So here is a sample Python file that uses a turtle graphics and it draws a couple of um, things, uh, nothing very um, significant, but it gives you the idea. Of the, it shows you the kinds of statements you can use in uh, turtle to you, uh, in Python to use uh, total graphics and create interesting stuff. So let's go through this file. And uh, from time to time, we will see what the execution looks like. To draw stuff using turtle graphics, the first thing you have to do is write this statement, import turtle. So it is all in lowercase. Without that, your program will not run, it will be a problem, all right? So uh, your code using turtle graphics is going to look like this, turtle dot, turtle dot. So turtle is an object on which you execute what is called a method. So you write turtle dot hide turtle. The turtle is actually a, an arrow. It is represented by an arrow. If you don't want to see that turtle on the screen, then you can ask the turtle to hide itself. So you have to write turtle, the word turtle, which is right here, then put a period and then write hide turtle all in lowercase um, and then put parentheses. This will hide the turtle. Then um, there is a pen using which uh, the turtle draws stuff you can lift the pen up. So it is somewhat like drawing on paper. If the pen is up, if you move the pen, it is just moving in the air. It is not touching the paper, right? So nothing will appear on the paper. So if you lift the pen up in turtle, any movement of the turtle will not show on the screen. Just because you are hiding the turtle doesn't mean that the lines will not show or the shapes will not show. It is just that that arrow, that turtle itself will not be seen. But the things that you draw can still be shown, but only if your pen is down. So if the pen is up and you go to places on the screen, you will not see anything appearing. For that, you have to have the pen down. So turtle dot pen down is here. So that would cause subsequent statements to draw stuff on the window. So what am I doing? I'm hiding the turtle, then lifting the pen up, and I'm going to 100 comma 200. So what does that mean? I'm making the turtle go to a location on the screen at 100, 200. Okay, let's run this program and see what it um, 
produces. It will actually execute all these statements. I will explain the first few things as to what is what happened. So try to remember this. Um, we are hiding the turtle, lifting the pen up, going to this location 100, 200, setting the color to blue, then putting the pen down and then start drawing some stuff. So let's see what this means. Go to 100, 200. All right. Um, so let's um, look at this output. This is what I get when I run this program, the program that you, I just showed you. We will explain all parts of it. Um, so when you run the program, it produces a window. You see this window here? That uh, is um, created by uh, Turtle Graphics. And there is a center for it. Uh, if you measure the width and divide by two, uh, you can uh, see the midpoint on the horizontal direction. Similarly, there is a midpoint in the vertical direction. That should be somewhere around here. And that is called the origin. That is at zero, zero. This is the x direction. The horizontal is the x direction. The vertical is the y direction. So this center has x equal to zero, y equal to zero. So when I write turtle dot go to 100 comma 200, I'm moving 100 in the x direction. That means going to the right. Zero is the center for x. And if you move to the right, the x values are increasing. So if you move to the right, you are going to get positive values, one, two, three, et cetera. So I'm going to go all the way to 100. Then I am going to move in the y direction in, for a length of 200. That is 200 pixels. Each uh, element of the screen is uh, in terms of pixels. So from the y position of zero, I am moving up. As you go up, y values are, in, are increasing. So I'm moving 100 to the right, 200 to the top, and then I will be here at the corner of this blue rectangle. Then let us see what else is uh, in the uh, code. You can see that we are drawing a blue rectangle, a line, and a circle in orange. So we will see how these shapes are created by the program. All right, we are back in the pro program code. We saw what turtle dot go to does. Go to all these methods on turtle are in lowercase. So don't use uppercase at all. All that I have, I know of are in lowercase. Um, couple of them, or a few of them might have underscores in them like begin fill and fill, but otherwise I don't know of any function, that, any method that is in uppercase. Uh, so go to 100 comma 200, you have to put the X value and the Y value after go to. Now, the next statement is changing the color of the turtle to blue. If you change this color, it changes the color of the pen. It also changes um, what you fill in shapes. You saw that orange um, circle and blue rectangle. So the internal colors of any shape can be set by this color and the outline can also be set by setting the color. Instead, you can have, uh, you have other methods like pen color, which changes the color of the pen, but without changing the fill color. So there is a method to change the fill color and the pen color independently. But if you want to change 
both in one stroke, then this is what you should use. Turtle dot color. And um, I put blue in quotes. You have to put the, put the color names in quotes. The typical values are like blue, red, orange, green, indigo, violet, or um, et cetera, et cetera, yellow. Then I put the pen down, turtle dot pen down. The turtle's pen is down. And then I want to draw a rectangle and that is filled. So here is the code, turtle dot begin fill. And then you can see a bunch of lines ending all the way to turtle dot end fill. So let me mark this. So this, this piece of code is basically drawing the rectangle. So how do I draw the rectangle? I draw four lines. So this is line one. This is line two. Line three. And finally I have line four. Every rectangle has four lines. So I draw the four lines using turtle dot forward. So when you write turtle dot forward or when you execute turtle dot forward, the turtle moves 50 pixels in some direction. What direction? We will see. And when you have this line executed, uh, turtle dot forward 100, it moves 100 in some direction. So I'm moving 50, 100, 50, 100 in uh, four different directions. We will see what those directions are. Those directions are set here. Turtle dot set heading zero. This means the direction should be horizontal to the right. So we set the turtle's direction to the right horizontally, and then we move 50 pixels to the right. Then we set the direction to make it go up, that is 90. So the turtle starts moving up and then I go 100 units up. Then I, the set heading to 180 means go left. And that I travel 50. So I travel 50 horizontally to the right then 100 up and 50 to the left, which means I have completed three sides, 50, 50 in both horizontal directions, 100 up. And finally, I turn around to reach the original point of the rectangle that I am making by going down. Turtle dot set heading 270 will take you in the downward direction vertically and I move forward 100. In fact, you can change uh, the angles. Uh, there is a way to change the angles uh, to other values too, but I'm just going to uh, show these uh, four different values here. And as I am going in these four directions, notice that the pen is down. So all the lines are on the screen, they appear on the screen. And you can see that these four lines, when completed, will actually create a rectangle in the blue color because the pen color is blue. But before I started drawing the lines, I wrote or I executed turtle dot begin fill. Begin fill means the turtle is ready to fill any shapes that I complete. So here I'm ending the filling. So the fill is all, fill color is also blue because the uh, color is set to blue. So the outline of the rectangle is in blue. The fill color is also blue. If I simply set the fill color, the outline would be in black. That is the default or whatever the pen color was at that point in time. Now the rectangle is finished. 
then I go to minus 50 minus 100. So let's take a look at where we are. Let's take a look at the um, output once more. See, this is the rectangle that uh, we just created 50 in the horizontal direction, 100 in the vertical direction. So we drew this horizontal direction um, starting here, then went up, then turned left and went down. And then we are moving to minus 50 in the X position on the X axis and minus 100 in the Y axis. And we are not putting the pen up. So this line actually shows up here. Okay. So back in the program, we are, um, we just talked about this uh, go to statement. We are moving to X equal to minus 50, Y equal to minus 100. So it is uh, to the left and bottom of the origin that line is actually showing because I never lifted the pen up. Then I said, set the heading to 90, which means I am changing the direction of the turtle to go up. And then I begin the fill, draw a circle here, turtle dot circle 100, 100 would be the radius of the circle and the color is set to orange. So the whole circle would be filled in orange. So let's take a, and, and of course the outline would also be in orange because the pen color as well as the fill color would be orange when I set using turtle dot color. So let's see the mechanics of uh, the circle filling or drawing actually. The filling is fairly simple. The drawing is a little uh, tricky to understand. So remember that I, when I move to, after I move to 50, minus 50, minus 100, I set the heading to 90, which is going up. So let's see what that means. All right, um, so we traveled from this location, which is 100, 200 to minus 50, minus 100. Then we set the direction to go up and then started drawing a circle. So how does that circle get drawn? Look at the direction it is to go up. So the center of the circle would be to the left of that vertical line. That vertical line is here. So it will be exactly 100 pixels to the left. The circle center will be here. So the circle is drawn like this. Okay. Uh, that is important to understand. So your direction, the uh, direction in which you are headed is important. That would play a role in the position of the center. It would be 50 units, it would be radius units, in this case 100 units to the left of the starting point where you begin drawing the circle and the direction is important.